Google Goggles is an application for Android devices that scans and analyzes artwork, logos, barcodes, books, and others. The application will scrub Google's database for matching information based on what you chose to scan. When you first open the app, this tutorial will display with different suggestions for what to scan and what not to scan. Press continue until you reach the enable search history screen. Here, you can enable or disable the search history for your different scans. With search history enabled, you'll be able to view and manage saved copies of the scans you've captured. Now, I'll demonstrate how to use the goggles. The first item I will scan is a barcode. Along the bottom are three options, flash, capture, and crop. As shown here, you do not need to tap the capture button. If you simply wait for the image to focus, the goggles will automatically capture it. Results are distinguished by color. Here, the green box in the image is a match for the green result listed below for spaghetti. Tapping on the result will launch a Google search with more information about that product. The next item I will scan is an image of the Mona Lisa. Tapping the capture button, the goggles will begin to scan the image. Here, we have three different results matching the Mona Lisa. You can see where each individual result matched in the scan by the color-coded boxes. Again, tapping on a result will launch the Google search page for it with additional information. Next, I will scan a picture of the Eiffel Tower. Just as with the Mona Lisa, the image will be scanned and color-coded matches are listed along the bottom with additional information. Turning the phone horizontal puts the goggles into landscape view. Tapping the menu button, you have options for help, enable history, and load a picture. Tapping on load picture will launch your gallery where you can select the photo you want to load. Here, I've selected a picture of a watch. After scanning it, you can now see that the watch in the image is a vintage Rolex Submariner. Again, matches are listed at the bottom. Turning the goggles back to landscape view, I'll now scan this balance bracelet to find additional information. One result was found with links for a website that sells the bracelet. The last thing I will scan with the goggles is text written in Spanish. When translating, the crop tool makes it easy to select text for an accurate scan. In this case, it isn't necessary for me to crop the text since I only have text that I want. Tapping on the result at the bottom, I can now tap translate at the top of the Google page. Here, I can choose what language I want to translate to, and by default, English has been selected for me.